Ladies and gentlemen, you know who it is. It's your boy, Brass Tax Baby. You're tuned in to the Brass Tax Experience. Now, this idea occurred to me. I mean, it should have occurred to me a lot sooner. But it occurred to me a few days ago. Now, got a relative came over from India, right? And uh, he's not really big on the tech scene. He's got a 1080p TV at home. Uh, he hasn't really experienced 4K face-to-face. So he came down, chilled with me for a bit. You know, he's pretty much like, hey man, show me what you've got. i was going through my 4K Blu-rays and I'm thinking, what can I showcase? So give me an idea. I found about 20 or 30 4K Blu-rays that I would show. And I thought, you know what? I'm sure there's people out there who want to know. I mean, there are those ones which are just magnificent. Irrespective of whether the movie's good or not, the showcase discs. So this is part one, people. These are the best discs you put in that Blu-ray player to show off your 4K TV. This is how you introduce 4K to the uninitiated. So it's, it's, it's part one. I'm sure there's going to be part two and part three. But I'm going to start with 10. They're not in any order specifically because they're all A1. Putting them in any kind of order just wouldn't make sense. These are all demo quality panty dropping discs. So let's just get started. Shall we begin? Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children. I think I'm quite peculiar. The only problem with this movie is that Ava Green, Ava Green was not in this long enough. She should have been in this more, she's tasty, she's nasty, and more importantly, she comes across naughty. We love that, people. She's magnificent. When she's in it, she steals the show. Overall, it's pretty much what would happen if you get Tim Burton trying to do X-Men in his own kind of way. Fairly good movie. It's not something I would watch repeatedly. It can be a little slow, but it is fantastic. It's full screen. As you can see, it's a 4K digital intermediate. HDR 10, Dolby Atmos. And it's a 66 gig disc. How can you knock this? I've got a selection of movies. This is one of the first movies I put in my Blu-ray player to see. If you haven't got it already, you need to get it. Great HDR. And to be honest, for my 3D Blu-ray fans out there, the 3D is pretty spectacular as well. Both A1 discs. On to the next. This should be no surprise to anyone. The Revenant. Leonardo DiCaprio, he won an Oscar for this, right? Guess what? He should have won an Oscar four or five times by now for his various movies. For those of you who don't have this, this was one. Was this one of the first 4K Blu-rays? Because I remember getting this very, very early. I think this was like the first wave. And this movie looks spectacular. You're watching the movie and you see the rain. And it's it feels cold. You feel cold when you're watching this movie. It's immersive like that. It's razor sharp. Tom Hardy's a damn psychopath. And there is a bear attack in this movie that is going to make you absolutely shit your load. This is a must-have. The colours, detail, the sharpness, just magnificent. 4K DI, HDR10, the only letdown for this 4K disc is the HD DTS 7.1. Should have been an Atmos, but what can you do? Here's another one. A lot of people didn't like this movie. I didn't hate it. I just feel that the Transformer movies are just remixes of each other. Every movie is a goddamn remix, apart from Bumblebee. One of the better out of the shit bunch, if you get what I'm saying. The number one disc for me last year. It's a panty dropper, panty wetter, booty bouncer, if you get what I'm saying. IMAX scenes, it's a hundred gig disc. As it should be, you got Dolby Vision, you got the HDR, you got Dolby Atmos. It's a 2K DI, and I know this seems to be the ongoing debate about 4K DIs and 2K DIs, and I'm gonna do a video on that soon as well. This is beautiful. This is a showcase disc, but you already know, you should, because I reviewed this, and if you haven't picked this up, irrespective of whether you like the movie or not, if you haven't picked this up, that means you just don't listen to your boy. Which is a big problem for me. That's all I'm saying, baby. This is the one. And to be honest, to be totally honest, that year, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but that year, Transformers was the best 4K disc for me and it was the best 3D disc for me. Reference, panty dropping on both formats, people. 
crazy. No surprise here, The Lion King. Visually stunning. What more can I say about it? A 2K DI, HDR10 Dolby Atmos, 66 gig disc, great looking movie. The visuals are fantastic. My dad uh, likes his National Geographic stuff. And you know, he likes watching lions and shit like that. So I was just like, hey, take a look at this bitch. My dad's jaw was to the floor, no cap. Showed my cousin from India, right? He was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm like, yeah, this is 4K, baby. I think this was part of the first wave as well, Mad Max Fury Road. I think I had this movie for a while, and I don't know why, but I didn't watch it initially because I thought it was gonna be shit. It was not shit. It was a very, very good movie. Charlie's hair on, oh my goodness. Tom Hardy. Apparently they didn't get on behind the scenes whilst filming this movie. And what can you do? Great visuals. This is a HDR extravaganza, 100%. This is an amazing movie, uh, followed by amazing, amazing visuals. This is one for your 4K Blu-ray collection. This is one you showcase, people. You show this shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Hacksaw Ridge, 100 gig disc, 2K DI, HDR, 10 Dolby Atmos. It is a winner on all fronts. It's even got some amazing extras on the 4K disc itself. I loved the movie. And there's some people who didn't like it, and I just don't understand why. And say what you will about Mel Gibson. But he did his thing here, 100%. Great movie, loved it. The last 15, 20 minutes, psh, god damn. I ain't even gonna lie to you, your boy had a tear in his eye. And just the close-ups in this movie, razor sharp. Everything pops. This is a reference disc, this disc is gorgeous. You want a war movie, you need not look any further than this bad boy here for a demo showcase panty dropping extravaganza. In my opinion, probably the best looking Marvel 4K Blu-ray. Thor Ragnarok. This is gorgeous. Not only is the 4K good on this, even the 3D of this is the top five best 3Ds ever. Amazing 3D disc, amazing 4K disc, and once again, people, 2K digital intermediate. HDR 10 Dolby Atmos, 66 gig disc. Gorgeous transfer. You got Valkyrie, oh Valkyrie baby. Sometimes I see her, I just don't know what to say. Can't say much of the girlfriend here, I just gotta act like I can't see her. Just put my shades on, so she can't see what I can see. Do you know what I'm saying? That's how we do, fellas. I'm sure most of you guys have got this in your collection, and if you haven't, unsubscribe right now. Now this one's a little subjective, because there's some people who just don't like the soap opera effect, but Gemini Man, to me, looks amazing. Jesus Christ, I mean, like, Will Smith looked like he was in my living room. And if he was in my living room, I'll be like, listen, let's get rid of Martin Lawrence. Let's have your boy in here. Let's do a Bad Boys 4 and see what happens. Dolby Vision HDR10. It's an A1 disc to me. A 100 gig disc. Shame about the movie. But you know what it is? I've got a soft spot for this movie because somewhere down the line, I think there was a much better movie in here somewhere. You know, like when you watch the trailers, your mind starts thinking of all the things that could have happened in this movie and they didn't. But I'd like to believe that there, there is a super duper director's cut somewhere with all of the shit I wanted in it. If you don't like the movie, you don't like the movie, but it is just, it just looks spectacular to me. I would appreciate that this isn't for everyone, but if you don't mind it, this is the one. Blade Runner 2049, a sequel that I thought was gonna be trash, to be honest, and I watched it and I was blown away. Loved this. Managed to capture the essence of the original and it looks stunning. HDR is blinding, you're gonna have to wear shades just to watch this bad boy. It really is that good. 4K DI, HDR 10, Dolby Atmos, 100 gig disc, and boy does it show, the detail in every scene is second to none. This is an absolute winner, people. This should be in your collection. I don't care if you don't like the movie. This should be in your collection. This is a spectacular disc. Baby, I got a soft spot for Scarlett Johansson. She could be the number one 4K actress on 4K. She is amazing. She is fantastic. She is, okay, you know, let me switch it up. She's intelligent, she's charismatic, and she's also fine as hell. God damn! Amazing, Scarlett Johansson is the one. Now I know there's a movie, a marriage story with her and Kylo Ren, 
right? Adam Driver, right? I'll tell you something else. I have still not watched that movie and I'm going to tell you why. Because I can't bear for her to be upset or hurt. Because it's going to hurt me. I can't bring myself to watch that shit. Okay? But forget all that. This is one of the movies that was probably a deciding factor for most people. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who watched this movie and said, this is what 4K is. Man, I need to invest in 4K immediately. This ticks all the boxes, people. It's probably one of the best discs you'll ever see in 4K with a 4K DI. Dolby Atmos as well was pretty good. Was Lucy the first wave of 4K Blu-rays? I'm not sure. It is everything 4K is about. Morgan Freeman never looked so three-dimensional in his life. Depth, HDR, detail. Everything is a 10, solid 10 in this bitch. This is the showcase. This is what you show to someone to introduce them to 4K. This will blow the panties off, I'm telling you. I think it's appropriate that we finish with Scarlett Johansson. Those are 10 titles right there. 10 titles you show off your 4K TV with. There's gonna be a part two and probably a part three, but these are the best of the best in my opinion. Guys, comment below, tell me your lists. Don't worry if I haven't covered a movie because like I said, there are a lot of discs. A lot of discs. Guys, if you're new to 4K, these are the ones. Amazing. All right, guys. 4K Rockstar. You already know.